Again, Janisha using a lot of deception. Bringing the racket in very slow on the ball. And good early attack from Simon. And at 11-14, perhaps a little bit of reverse pressure on Jansha. Well, it's been a long time coming. Simon played very well the first initial stages. Didn't get a sniff then for the next 15 minutes. A nice little run at the end here. Another point, who knows? Terrific backhand volley. Cross court, little flick. Power drive, cross court. Certainly Simon starting to play more confidently again. Even if he doesn't get the first, it's a good omen really for him for the second. Hanging in. And Jancher and error. So at 12.14. There is some possibility of a dramatic change in fortune. Still game ball to Jancha though. Whipped away, unorthodox albeit, but a winner down the line and Jancha takes the first 15-12. Both players to this point in the rally have meticulously performed, but Jancha now shows where he is still at times in a class of his own. He sets up the next extraordinary puppet on a string phase with a subtle, deceptive hold deep. Even though Simon makes a, a good recovery, seemingly, Jancha holds the tee, and from then on in, he is worked remorselessly. Ease of movement to the front, the hold again across court. Simon just getting it up, unorthodox whip of the racket face, cross court. Again the recovery, beautiful position from Jansha going in on the drop. Another cut off volley to the open space. Diagonal sprint from Simon, a hold again, takes him back. Quietly onto the ball into the front, hold again, takes him deep down the backhand wing. Then the placement round the walls to put Simon finally out of his misery. First blood then to Jansha. Can Simon respond? Join us to find out after the break. Welcome back to the second game of the Equitable Life Super Series Final. Jancha leads, but it's still early days. Referee John Robinson at the mic. And we're off again. Solid work down the backhand wall. Appeal from Simon. Thought the ball was in. And obviously Janisha thinks it's out. So obviously that's a good call. And out. It'll be interesting, Jonah, to see if Simon can build on that One positive lost. finish he had to the first game. He lost such a string of points there in the middle phase. He did well to pull a couple back at the end and obviously needs a good start and he's got one and I think Chris that rather than just Jancha totally outplaying Simon in the first game the truth of the matter is that Simon was playing well but Jancha was quite brilliant 
Once he got into the match, there was no stopping him. Well, I think brilliant is, is a perfect word to sum up Janish's play there for large portions of the first game. And you are right, Jonah. Simon's doing everything correct, working hard, trying to be patient. But he's just slammed that forehand volley into the front nick. And he has come out of the gates flying here in the second game. Janisha using his years of experience there to let the ball roll back into Simon's way. Simon knew it too, Chris. Smile on his face. Old pro's trick. Yes, that. Tried it again. But a let given. And rightly so. Simon quickly out of the way. Seems to be a little pattern emerging, Jonah, though. Early on in the games. Simon's coming out in the quick start. Maybe getting Janisha before he gets into his control phase and Simon can limit that control give a little bit back in the middle stages yes, sir. he can take his leads through to victories that was a pretty good length to the back of the court he had Simon out of position clearly felt that it was a winner but a let given Simon was severely embarrassed Again, that use of that hole from the deep backhand corner. Full extension there from Janisha. Had to be. It was a good drop from Simon. I like to see Simon really hunting the ball and trying to put Janisha under a little bit of pressure to get him into an anaerobic state, get him out of this quiet aerobic capacity that he has. I think as well, Joe, it looks very much like Simon's trying to get the first shot in, trying to stay in front. And the loose ball gets hit. But all of a sudden, he loses control of the rally and the rhythm, and he ends up paying the price. And that wasn't an error from Simon Park. Call from the referee. Jonah, I think Simon's just paying the price after a very good start again. Just maybe moving the ball a little bit too much to the front of the court against this great player and just releasing control a little bit too often. The trouble is that when Jancha gets control over a rally, Chris, he very rarely lets go. And that's been the difference so far. Simon has been getting control for decent periods of time, but not holding it for long enough to be in the winning positions at the moment. So that's much better from him. Again, winners to the back of the court. And that's always a good sign of somebody that's being patient, exerting control. And it's the easiest way to win points. You don't have to test your skills at the front, test them at the back. So Simon sets himself again at 7-9 in the second, one game down. So I've thoroughly enjoyed this match. A lot of quality from both players, different times. Great contrast in styles, inevitably. Highly competitive. Simon is not in awe of Jansha. He really believes that he's now reached a level where he can beat him. Jansha absolutely determined to restore himself to the world number one position. No let. And no let given. Unlucky, I think. 